Hello all. In this session, we'll be discussing about research process. There are certain steps that researcher has to follow if he wishes to do a research. And as we have discussed in our previous classes also, that it is a systematic way of uh, uh, way of conducting a research, which actually determines how efficiently you can do it and how reliable and valid and reliable your output would be so in research process first point is that we need to identify the research question that is the foremost point that the researcher has to follow first the researcher actually identifies an area in which he has to work upon and then according to the area he tries to uh, find the research problem we do a initial literature review also this also helps us in finding um, the research question literature review means we uh, study what already has been done in that field through research papers journals reports articles so it gives an idea it gives us an idea about how um, um, how people have actually uh, studied about that particular subject and we need to understand the gap that has not been done and that gap will suggest us the research question then uh, distilling the question to a reachable problem then what we have to do is we uh, when we uh, have read a number of articles research paper and theory about the topic then we'll be able to understand that what can be the niche area in which you would like to proceed then again continued uh, review of literature we have to do uh, in this way we uh, will be able to like in a concrete way we'll be able to uh, say that okay we'll be doing a research on this for example if i am interested in health sector okay so uh, health of youth so i have read number of articles and research paper and journal everything about health health of youth okay and during my uh, reviewing of the literature which is already there i found that a lot study a lot of study has been done on uh, how the health is affected by electronic uh, electronics how it is affected by the uh, by the competition and how is it affected by the food they eat okay and during my uh, reviewing of the literature i found that nothing has been done on how art has an impact on the health of the youth suppose this is an example i'm giving so if no work is being done on how the art be it anything like uh, singing dancing painting instrumental anything how it has it has the impact on the health if this is not done so now i have my uh, confined research area that i want to see how um, art the relationship of art and health of youth okay the next step will be formulating a hypothesis hypothesis is what hypothesis is actually an idea okay an idea that structs the mind of uh, a researcher and then uh, he starts doing research on that idea that is called an hypothesis okay like uh, in this example which we took recently uh, my idea is suppose that uh, uh, art can have a positive impact on learning different forms of art can have a positive impact on health of youth so this is my idea this is my hypothesis and now i'm going to proceed okay then next step will be now i have the hypothesis now this is the my uh, uh, area in which uh, i have to proceed now what i have to do is we have i have to plan my research process determine the basic research approach how am i going to do it whom i'm going to ask who would be my respondents what kind of data will i be using so this we i have to actually specify then identifying the population and sample population is what population is consists of all the elements that are related to my study it is different from the english word population in research population like uh, the example which we took the imp the learning different forms of art having an impact of the health of youth of madhya pradesh so the population uh, of my research uh, 
thesis would be youth of madhya pradesh all it will come uh, comprise of everyone of madhya pradesh all the youths of madhya pradesh all the youth of madhya pradesh okay um youngsters of uh, different states they will not be my population so getting it so population in research is different from population in english literature okay yeah then uh, we'll be discussing population and sample then designing data collection plan how am i going to um, uh, get primary data from the respondents will it be based on secondary data or primary data and how am i going to do the sampling will it be a uh, probability sampling will it be non probability sampling and the different forms of sampling that we have already done so we have to actually understand that okay then designing data collection plan also then selecting and developing data collection instruments instruments uh, what are data collection instruments they can be questionnaire i can have my data through questionnaire through schedule so i have to design my Uh, instrument okay then choosing the method of data analysis there are different statistical tools that are uh, available and that we can use in order to come to our conclusion right we can have correlation test z test f test uh, anova or so many different test okay so the choice of the analytical tool it actually depends upon the objective of our research problem okay then implementing research plan and then interpreting the results so whenever we are conducting the research and whenever we are coming up with the data so we have numbers okay so the real beauty the real talent of a researcher is to interpret those numbers it is important because rest everything is mathematical okay we'll have a number is like 2 3 4 2.5 1.6 less than 0.5 more than 0.6 so what does this mean so interpretation is what makes one researcher different from other so in this way we actually uh, conduct a research process okay now we'll continue in our next session thank you